National night out celebrations are just wrapping up across the corridor and across the country. Neighbors are coming together to take a stand against crime in their communities. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett shows us how tonight's event is also a big help for police. Jason. Scott and Tiffany, we're in the Water Point neighborhood on the southwest side of Cedar Rapids where the party wrapped up just about an hour ago. You know, this is the 30th year for National Night Out and the goal year after year is the same, to keep the bonds in these neighborhoods strong. A night for fun. A night for food. Lots of desserts. We have some good bakers around here. But most of all, a night to recognize the common bonds that tie us together. I was at another party and um, met a, a woman there whose daughter I worked with way back in high school. So uh. National Night Out provides a little something for everyone. For residents, it's a chance to say hi to good friends. It's nice to get the neighbors together and uh, help each other. While making new friends in law enforcement. How are you, officer? That's the goal for officers like Shannon Stokesbury as she drives from location to location. It was all about strengthening that bond between officer and resident. It's getting to know people, hearing about what's going on in their neighborhoods, what's going good, but also what's, you know, maybe going bad or something that they're concerned about that we can help them out with. And those interactions don't just benefit residents. That's how we can get our information because we can't have police officers everywhere all the time. So we need our um, citizens around the city. Of course, that all depends on trust. Trust that is built one brownie, one handshake, one smile at a time. We're glad that they participate and they come out and see us. Tonight was also about giving back to the community. Tonight's residents gathered books for the Cops and Kids program. These books will then be in turn given out to kids in the community. We're covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids. Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News.